Well, good afternoon, family. How are you today? This is the day that the Lord has made me know, and I will and you will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope all is well. I hope that you all had a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend. Let's go into our word of encouragement for today, which is entitled, Stay on Bended Knee. Let's talk about it, but let us pray first. Heavenly Father, I come to you now with this time with my social media family. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for letting us be a part of this day, a day none of us even knew or have seen until you woke us up this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy. Lord, prepare us now. Open our spiritual wounds up to receive. We are willing, Lord God, to listen to you. Have your way, Lord God, today in and through us. I decrease so you can increase in me, Lord God. Use me and my social media family however you see fit as we sit at your feet to receive this word. I give you the honor and glory for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Stay on bended knee. Go with me now to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 to 21. A little lengthy, but I'm going to get through it as usual. Amen. I will be coming from the New King James Version. And it says, give me one second, Ephesians 3, chapter 14, I'm sorry, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 through 21, the New King James Version says, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints that is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may fill with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, that's Ephesians for some that are joining. Ephesians 3, chapter 14. Uh, mm, I don't know why I'm saying chapter 14. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 through 21, coming from the New King James Version, which says, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant to you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints, that is, the width and the length and the depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may fill with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Family, in our text, Paul, like the other apostles, has been entrusted with revelation by the Spirit. On bended knee, there was a moment of tenderness in which Paul speaks directly to the Ephesians about his care for them. Specifically, it had been revealed to him that Gentiles who receive the gospel in faith are fellow heirs of the promises of God. They, too, are members of the body of Christ, and therefore they have access to God. For this reason, Paul prays that the Ephesians may be strengthened in spiritual power, love, and knowledge. Say, stay on bended knee. Now, the four matters for which Paul prays for the sake of the Ephesians is that they may have, number one, inner spiritual strength, number two, the indwelling of Christ in their hearts, number three, the ability to comprehend all the dimensions of spiritual reality, and number four, the knowledge of the love of Christ. Now, let us look. Let's look at each of them briefly. Amen. First, the inner spiritual strength, which is the matter of being strengthened. For most of us, we are strengthened and sustained by the witness of company of believers with whom we worship. Beyond that, we are strengthened by the witness of those from the past whom we remember in the cycle of the church year. 
including those whose hymns we sing and those whom we commemorate for their preaching, teaching, and acts of courage in society based on Christian faith. Amen. Second is the indwelling of Christ in the hearts of the congregation where love is produced. Christ cannot be simply a concept or a memory. I'm going to say that again. Christ cannot be simply a concept or a memory. The risen and living Christ comes to us in word and sacrament, and he seeks to find hearts in which to dwell. Where he is, there is love. Amen. Say, stay on bending knee. Third, the ability to comprehend all the dimensions of spiritual reality is in our life together as Christians that we find every new vista and insight into the vast world of God. If we have time to listen to one another, we discover stories of faith beyond our own. In conversation with others, listening to their prayers and observing acts of kindness and generosity, we gain understanding of God and the world that we have not known before. And finally, to know the love of Christ surpasses all form of our norm. That is not to say that knowing other things is irrelevant for the Christian life. On the contrary, to know all we can about our world is important for for living well. But to know the love of Christ is not something we can find out there in the world. I'm going to say that again. But to know the love of Christ is not something we can find out there in the world. Rather, it has been revealed to us by God who sent his son into the world. We celebrate that love. Whenever we gather for worship, God accomplishes all this by the power at work within us, which exceeds our expectation. For all of this, we give thanks, joining with others, and glorifying God forever. Say, stay on bended knee. So, no matter how bold our request may seem, God can do all we ask and much more. God's meaning for accomplishing more than we can imagine comes through his strength. His word is done by the Holy Spirit's power within us rather than by our human strength. I'm sorry, by our human strength. As Jesus taught his apostles in Matthew 26, 41, which states, watch and pray so that you will not fall into, t- fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Stay on bended knee. Amen. Now, here are my four tips on why prayer is important. And I'm out. Amen. Number one, prayer is the lifeline to God. It connects us spiritually with him. Number two, prayer is a command. Amen. It's commanded. If we pray without ceasing, God must consider prayer a top priority for us daily. For when we involve ourselves in prayer and seek the will of God, our focus will shift towards loving others and meeting their needs. We must deny ourselves and focus on meeting the needs of the kingdom wherever they may that might be. This is why prayer is so crucial. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Prayer is commanded. If we pray without ceasing, God must consider prayer a top priority for us daily. For when we involve ourselves in prayer and seek the will of God, our focus will shift towards the loving, shift towards loving others and meeting their needs. We must deny ourselves and focus on meeting the needs of the kingdom wherever they might be. This is why prayer is so crucial. Number three, prayer has power. Prayer is very powerful and its effect can cause everlasting life changes. The power of prayer can also change anything according to the will of the Father. Amen. And prayer is the way to give thanks. As we like to hear thanks for something that one has done, God appreciates our giving thanks unto him for the blessings that he has bestowed upon us. So stay on bending me. Amen. Also, I want y'all to meditate on a reference scripture along with our key scripture, which is Isaiah 43, 10, and the NIV version, which says, You are my witnesses, declares the Lord and my servant whom I have chosen so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor will there be one after me. 
Amen. Now let us pray. Hallelujah. So stay on bended knee. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for this time with my social media family, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for helping us to continue to stay focused and to stay on bended knee, to stay communicating through prayer with you, Lord God. Prayer, I we know now, is the lifeline to you. It is a telephone connection to you, and you always answer the phone. And I thank you in advance for your grace and your mercy over all of my social media family and everyone connected unto me. Hallelujah. Lord God, continue to bless them and use them however you see fit. Also, Lord God, I decree and declare healing over anyone that is suffering an illness in their body, Lord God. I decree and declare healing and restoration over them. Bless the doctors, the nurses, Lord God. Bless whatever they need, Lord God. Continue to meet them at their need in the name of Jesus. Lord God, bless all your people across the world, Lord God, that you have called by name. And let them know, Lord God, that you haven't forgotten about them. But they must stay on bended knee. So thank you, Lord God, for this word. Continue to strengthen us, Lord God. Continue to sharpen us, Lord God. And help us to continue to surrender all unto you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I love y'all so much. Crazy. I'm getting better. Hold up. Okay. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting bad. I didn't want to keep y'all on too long. I had some things I had to do today. But I just want to come, you know, I always want to encourage you and uh, to let you know how much I do love you and I am praying for y'all, you know, because y'all pray for me. I pray for y'all, you know, because I need you and you need me. And that's just the way God made it to be. Take it up with him. We do need each other at some point. People do need people. We just have, we have the ability to choose who we who we need amen and who we will accept so um i love y'all i really do god bless y'all and y'all have a wonderful wonderful afternoon continue to uplift your um family like i always say continue to pray for your leaders continue to do god's work in the community whatever you are called to do continue to um keep him involved from the littlest the biggest things amen and um continue to uh lift up our all i mean all leaders our spiritual leaders as well as our governmental leaders amen so um i love y'all god bless y'all and y'all have a wonderful wonderful evening amen